Well, a happy bum day, dress down day. Hopefully it was a good one today. I sure enjoyed getting, getting to wear my sweats to school. So um, we're gonna take our Olympic data and we're gonna use several different graphical ways to represent them. And this is part of our uh, curriculum to learn how to do this and interpret it. One of the ways we're gonna use our Olymp Winter Olympics data is to use a dot plot. It's really cr quite simple. Um, we basically take a series of data like we have here. Um, this one's the number of canned foods donated by each student during a charity event. So all we're going to do is make a um, number line. So we'll just put a little line there. And I want to look at my data and I want to identify the lowest and highest number. So looking here it looks like 13 might be my lowest and I think 25 is the highest. So my distribution has to be between 13 and 25, which um, we could either go by ones or twos on that. If you think about it, uh, 25 minus 13 is uh, 12 numbers in between. So I think ones would probably be best this way. And we can even just right start at 13 here and then go 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Hopefully yours looks a little bit neater than mine. So we want to label this. So we're going to put number of cans donated. And then basically each time we see um, that amount of cans, we're going to put a little X there. So we have um, a amount of 13, 15 cans. So I'm going to put 1X over 15 and then 18. So I'll put an X here and then another 18. So that one goes on top. So each one of these represents 18 cans. Then we have 22. So I paused the video so you didn't have to watch me do all that. It takes so much time. Um, you can see I missed the 10 up here. So I had to go ahead and put a 12, 11, and 1 for the 10. Um, so basically, um, when you're doing these, you want to make sure they're sort of at the same level. So all the 1s are here. Anytime there was a 2x's, that one kind of got a little mixed up. But that was 3x's and 4x's. So you want to make sure your x's are the same height for the distribution. So now that we have um, our dot plot, and basically a dot plot we use to, uh, it's a good way just to display the amount of data. Oops, what's going on here? So you can see kind of where the data is at and how it's distributed. Okay. So basically a dot plot is used to sort of see where all your numbers are. So we can definitely see um, a peak here and the number of 17 and 18 cans um, brought in. Um, we had four students bring in 17 cans and four students bring in um, 18 cans. Okay. Then we want to look at how the data is distributed. Okay. We might want to make a little key here I'm thinking about. Um, students or one student really right so X is one student so to decide how things are distributed we want to sort of um, make kind of like a uh, drawing around the whole thing Just like this sorry there we go could have done a little better with that one um, so kind of have this sort of peak in the middle Okay, and we have one out here, and one out here, and one around here, and then it kind of has this nice peak right down the center. So when you have something like that, we call this um, the date. We say the data is symmetric when we're asking about the data distribution. Distribution means how it is laid out. Okay, so this data here is symmetric. It's symmetric because it has kind of a peak in the middle. And this side and this side sort of mirror each other. 
So this is called a, um, a symmetric data distribution. Okay, so we kind of have like a mountain. I always think about it. It's kind of even here. It's even here. We have a peak in the center. It doesn't have to be perfect, but overall you have sort of, you know, just a, a mountain where you have a peak and it kind of slopes down on each side. So we have a dot plot where you can just say, display the amount of data. It shows us where our numbers are at. And then we want to look, describe the distribution. In this case, we would say it's symmetric. So there's a peak in the middle and then it kind of falls on each side symmetrically. One thing I did forget to do, though, is today is the 11th, I think. I forgot to put the date up there. Okay, so a dot plot's pretty easy. We just do the number line, look at your data, each piece gets an X, okay? And then you have to say whether it's, what kind of symmetry it is. So we want to look at a um, little bit more data distribution, and I'm going to give you a handout on this tomorrow a little bit. Um, but if we look at this, we sort of talked already about the symmetric, you know, when our dot plot is kind of nice and even. Then we have two other things that we're going to do. We're either going to say it's skewed right or it's skewed left. I remember skewed sort of means, um, you know, a small amount of data is changing the way we look at it. Okay. So when you look at a skewed right, okay, um, the majority of your data should be a bit on the left. And they call this the tail. There's just a few things on the right pulling it that way. So when you talk about skewed right, so that's is another thing that we wanted to have on here. Skewed right. Um, the majority of the data should be on the left. And the, there should be what's called a tail on the right. So it's kind of like this area is pulling this, so it's kind of like a tail of a cat or a dog or a dinosaur, whatever you want to call. So we say it's skewed right. So everything's here, and this little bit of data is pulling it over to the right. So we call that a skewed right data distribution. And then you basically have the opposite for a skewed left. This is skewed left. So the majority of my data is down here, and then there's this little tail pulling it just to the left this way. It's kind of like someone's taking it and pulling it like that. There's a few pieces of data. So we want to basically say the same thing. My writing's terrible in here, so I'm going to do this. So we have skewed left, and it's um, majority of data is on the right, and the tail is pulling it. I know you can't see that. So that's why we say left, because a little bit is just pulling it to the left a little bit. Everything be, would be right on here on the right-hand side, except this little data pulls it over that way. So we have three things we're going to do tomorrow. You're going to have to make a dot plot, and you have to describe the data distribution. It'll be skewed right, skewed left, or symmetrical. Okay. Um, and so I did this one for you. I want you to do this practice problem on your own. I want you to make a dot plot out of these, and then tell me its data distribution, how it's skewed. Make sure you say skewed. It's hard to say that. All right. Have a great night.